Garrett. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the Wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errol Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one's for the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Gary. We practice swords to Gary, start. what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen, but what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And what did you do? Now you know how it feels, being on the outside looking in. But I'm your friend, Mira. Always. If you want my help with Marjorie, just ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. And I can't let you. You're making a lot of drama out of nothing, Sarah. This will pass. Marjorie and I will be friends again. I'm not going anywhere. For your sake, Mira, I hope you're right. Look, the pie! Oh no, they're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Uh, seven hells. 
You there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. That ironwood was stolen from my family. It was never yours to sell. Spoken with strength, my lady. But still, I wonder if you're ready to play this game. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest diamond from me. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? There's no one you can really trust. What you need, more than anything, is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Don't touch him! Don't touch him! What happened? Joffrey's oh. dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Locked. I'm not getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? <sighs> I 
I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. No. It's not worth your life. Thank you for saying that. I guess I better not die then. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I'm sorry. I was just... I'm leaving right now. Not so fast. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You! Don't move! Tom! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. I almost lost my footing. Tom, we have to hurry. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said that it would be on his desk. A letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, oh, another bloody letter! Tyrion's strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. I think the Lannister guard is back. Oh no, it's the other one. Damn it! Hide. I find a way to distract them. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Help! Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! I lit a tapestry on fire, down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. It has to be. Oh! Come on! <gasps> it worked! Is this? Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! <coughs> I catch the bastard who... I'll wring their bloody neck! <laughs> <laughs> 